Welcome back to GTA Insights. Possible spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The famous Reddit user called GTA 6 Leak recently posted a lot of news and rumors about the story of the next Grand Theft Auto or GTA 6. Check it out below. Rose is the only character that will never directly ask for help. If she's taking heavy fire, she'll say something along the lines of over here or fire from my 12 rather than saying she needs help. The three characters complete the dark triad, Casey the psychopath, Rose the narcissist, and Ricardo the Machiavellian. Rose's husband's name is Arthur McLean. Every non-restricted area of the map is gang-controlled unless the player changes that, by taking the gang down as Casey in the north, or by cleaning the area up as Rose in Vice City. Cottonmouth cannot be cleaned up by any character. There will be a constant motorcycle gang presence in the town. Ducking while in vehicles returns. If your car is stopped with the engine turned off, you will duck very low to avoid being spotted. This has the greatest success if you're in a natural area for parking. Doing this in the middle of the road will arouse suspicion. Doing it in a parking lot or alongside parked cars will not. If police cannot find you, they will set up a perimeter around your last known location. The size of this perimeter expands depending on your wanted level and gets a further boost if you were last spotted in a vehicle. Inside these perimeters, roadblocks are set up and cops will check every vehicle attempting to leave the area, as well as having cops searching for the player within the perimeter. After a while, cops searching for you within a perimeter will begin checking parked cars. If you are ducking low with the engine off, they may be able to spot you at this point when checking the vehicle. Cutscenes aside, it is possible to complete the game without killing anyone as a character you're controlling. There are achievements for doing this. Funerals can sometimes be seen taking place across the map. Sometimes, it's possible to hear overhear details suggesting they're people the characters may have killed. Every time an important character or friend dies, they will have a funeral. The player is asked to dress nicely in a black suit or dress and attend. Attendance is optional. The trio have a HQ where heists are planned and missions are often started from. It's a large empty premises above a cafe in a rundown part of town. Towards the end of the game, Rose takes over the cafe and opens it to the public, which can provide a secondary source of income for Rose. When Rose gets promoted towards the end of the game, her salary actually increases. The HQ can be customized and can be used to store weapons, cash, and disguises. Sometimes, Crooks the player has recruited to help them can be found having a drink in the closed cafe. Sometimes the characters will argue over what music to play in vehicles and the HQ. The character you are controlling always wins the argument. Rose will sometimes jokingly threaten to arrest crooks hired to help the trio. The fact it was a joke flies over their heads and the crooks get nervous. Rose can take up bounty hunting missions, bringing in people who have skipped for extra cash. She can invite the KC and Ricardo to help her, who will each get 25% of the money, Rose keeps 50%. There are 30 bounty hunting missions, and they are, as far as I'm aware, the only formal missions the three characters can all do together after the story concludes. There are police award ceremonies for Rose to attend. One happens when she is cleared for duty and one when she is promoted to captain. Beyond this, there are multiple other times she can be awarded, usually for completing certain achievements, certain reductions in gang presence, certain arrest numbers, etc. Awards are kept physically in Rose's house. These cannot be transported to other properties, they stay in her original house. Rose can lock onto them and make a comment, similar to Arthur looking at himself in a mirror in RDR2, about how good she is, how much she deserved them, and how Arthur McLean and Mom would be proud. Rose and her sister don't hate each other, but they don't get along very well. At one point in the story, Rose is drinking with her sister in a bar in Vice City having a good time bonding when her sister starts racking up. The camera focuses on Rose's face in distress, similar to how choices are made in RDR2, and she has to make the choice between arresting her or letting it go and trying to have a good time. Each character keeps a dream diary the player can read which helps give an insight into their minds. Ricardo often writes in his dream diary that he dreams about his grandson, despite the fact that he has no grandson. Rose has a lot of nightmares and often dreams about Arthur, getting slightly depressed when she wakes up from them. Characters, including playable characters, bleed from injuries. If Rose gets hurt and starts bleeding, Casey makes jokes along the lines of grab a maxi, lieutenant. Rose doesn't appreciate the jokes. Characters shout when there is gunfire. Upon completing all bounties, Rose will get an award and a $100,000 bonus. If Rose inspects her bounty award, you can see the names of all the bounties brought in on the back. There is an achievement for bringing all 30 bounties in alive. 
Rose only dabbles in crime at first. The mission where she's forced to shoot another cop thrusts her right into it. As Rose, there are side missions where she works with the FIB and DOA to being down 10 most wanted criminals. These are only playable after her promotion to captain. Each time you buy a business, you go to the premises and a cutscene plays out. Every time the player purchases a legitimate business in a gang-controlled area, every area is gang-controlled unless the player changes that, a second cutscene will play where the gang will demand protection money. This money needs to be paid weekly, if the player has a manager, they can tell their manager whether or not to pay it automatically. If the protection money is not paid, the gang may destroy your premises or stock in retaliation. Occasionally, you can see reference to the events of RDR2 in media. The events are often discounted as exaggerated legend. As far as I'm aware, Arthur Morgan is lost to history, but Dutch, John and Colm are remembered. The trio can buy disguises that can give them access to certain areas, for example, dressing up as a chef might grant you access to a certain event. Your phone receives a notification whenever you get a like, follow, comment or share on social media. Notifications can be turned off or restricted. Phone reminders return, and the player can set them themselves, for example to remember when a TV show is about to start or protection money needs to be paid. Gang wars are costly, especially if you lose. As Casey, it may make more financial sense for a player to just control one block for a while until they can absolutely afford to go to war and it makes sense financially. The reasons the gang wars can be so expensive are multi-layered. Every gang member costs money to hire. Every gang member can be killed. Every gang member that's injured, but not killed, required their medical bills paying. Every gang member needs to be armed with weapons. More expensive weapons are obviously more effective. Your businesses will be targeted. Your drug dealers will be targeted. Police will up their presence which has detrimental effects on your criminal activities. Your vehicles may be targeted. Gangs retaliate. If Casey, for example, takes over a ballast block in Carcer City, it's likely the gang will retaliate at some point, attempting to take it back. When successful, they'll likely try to push further into Casey's territory. Unlike in GTA, SA, hoods are taken one block at a time. This means the player will have to engage in these disputes hundreds, or thousands, of times to completely control or clean up a city. Rose can use her police computer to see the size of all active gangs. This can be important to know for the other characters, especially Casey. If he has 20 goons and is thinking of picking a fight with a gang that has 2,000 active members, it could be advisable to avoid the conflict. Every time Rose helps take down a most wanted, she will receive an award. There is a formal ceremony for every award Rose receives that she must attend to accept the award. Rose's sergeant, Jose Vasquez, is the closest thing she has to a friend on the force. Casey's grandmother's apartment looks very similar to Max Payne's. There is a movie in game that's very clearly based off the life of Red Harlow. There are references to a now defunct gang that sounds very similar to the Warriors in Liberty City. You can throw guns away or throw them into dumpsters. If you're stopped and searched by police following an armed crime, they may let you go if you don't have a weapon on you. Parachutes have a small chance of not opening. Self-driving cars exist. Pregnant women feature. There are museums. A museum in Vice City has what they claim is a real crashed UFO. Ricardo's hair is greasy. The swing is still present in the 2023 version of Liberty City. There is a sign next to it saying caution may cause serious injury or death. I'm not sure if the glitch has been deliberately included in 6 or not. If Casey punches Rose's niece's bully, he will automatically receive a wanted level the next time he goes near the school. Double-clicking the siren button will turn the lights on but leave the sirens off. Clicking again will turn the sirens on too. Double-clicking instead, or clicking once when the lights and sirens are on, will turn them off. Rose will sometimes be offered bribes when arresting people. She can choose to accept the bribe and let them go, turn the bribe down or take the bribe and still arrest them. Bribes from civilians are not always in the form of cash. Sometimes it's information, such as the location of a meth lab, for example. Just like other items, bricks, trash, etc., bottles can be picked up and thrown or used as melee weapons. Hitting somebody with a glass bottle will cause it to smash. You can wear rings. You can play paintball. Essentially a non-fatal shootout in an enclosed area. Playable characters can go together, choosing to either be on the same team or fight against each other. Getting hit with a paintball will marginally decrease your health. The playable characters will tease each other when on opposing teams. I'm not aware of any differences in how they hold the paintball guns, but Ricardo and Rose are better paintballers than Casey. 
you can buy a paintball gun to cause mayhem in free roam. Go-karts feature, and characters can go together. Casey is a better racer than Rose, who is better than Ricardo. Heavier characters can turn sharper in go-karts, but sacrifice acceleration. Go-karts can be bought. There are sharks around the coast of Vice City. They are generally non-threatening, but may attack on occasion. Crime rates increase at night. You can sleep in RVs. Sometimes Rose will sacrifice sleep to work, so she may be drained and tired when switching to. NPCs may notice you stalking them and try to find a cop or head to a police station. There are collectible sports cards of athletes and game the player can buy and find. What do you guys think? Is this real or just another fake leak? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.